Hey guys, this is Ray with DRP Motorsports and welcome back to the shop. And today I decided to do a little video on our 2019 twin turbo Mustang and give you an update on, on the car and how it's doing. We have made it to the uh, drag strip a couple occasions. We carried it out to Galat Motorsports Park and done a little test and tune. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with the car, uh, it's a 2019 10R80. Um, it has a built 10R80 transmission with Suncoast parts. It has a Ford Racing Illuminator uh, crate engine that has the 9.5 to 1 compression ratio, so it's a low compression engine. And it has a Helion twin turbo kit that's uh, the out of the box kit with um, twin 62 millimeter turbos. So basically, just some you know average bolt on parts. It's got a triple fuel pump, full fuel system, uh, injector dynamics, 1300X injectors. But uh, a uh, real simple combination and uh, it really it works good i've had it on a chassis dyno it made uh, a little over 1100 wheel horsepower at 21 pounds of boost and for you coyote guys out there's like 21 pounds of boost so it'll be making more power that keep in mind this is a nine and a half to one compression engine not the 12 to one version so the higher compression version makes more power with less boost than this lower compression version but anyway going back to how it did at the track have to work out new car bugs. Any new setup, you got bugs to work out, and we've been working out the bugs. Uh, a few things suspension-wise, a few things in the tuning, uh, a few things mechanical with the drivetrain. Uh, had some setbacks, had a bit, an injector go bad, had to replace it. Had some uh, um, boost leaks and some vacuum leaks we had to go back over. Um, but we got all that taken care of, and we've made some successful passes. Uh, to sum it all up, basically, uh, the struggle is the 60 foot time with lower compression, uh, a twin turbo setup. It's a little slow about spooling the turbos, so you got to have RPMs for this thing to make power. Um, the way the converter set up right now, um, Suncoast give me what they felt was best for most guys, and it's a good it's a good stall. But with this particular setup and the lower compression, it needs a little bit higher stall converter to sum it up. But basically, what happens is if you try to launch in first gear. If you try to use the trans brake that's available um, in first gear only, it'll blow the tires off. If you try to foot brake in first gear, first gear in a 10R80 has got a four point something ratio first gear, so you've got a tremendous mechanical advantage. So if you try to foot brake much, you'll just simply spin the back tires. And you can only build it up by 2,500 RPMs. And leaving at 2,500 RPMs, the car is basically dead. It has to roll out about 100 foot before it gets in the boost and takes off. So that's no good for a good 60 foot. Um, that yielded the best 60 foot, I think, of a 170. Uh, Suncoast told me, say, hey, launch the car in second gear. It's going to do better. And they were right. Second gear takes away some of that mechanical advantage that, that you have in first gear, um, which with a car with 1,100 wheel horsepower doesn't need a lot of mechanical advantage. Second gear... Uh, you know, with less mechanical advantage, you can foot brake it to a higher RPM, and I was able to get it up to about 23,000, 3,500 on the foot brake, which helped tremendously. We got our 60 foot down to a 1.59, I believe, but this car with this kind of power, if we get the right stall speed and we can build it up somewhere around 4,000 RPMs when we leave, we should be able to get it down in, I'd say, to one threes in the 60 foots. Um, car ran a best of a 599 and you'll see that in some video clips I'll add in this video uh, at 121 so it's got a good mile an hour in the eighth on top end this car should be capable of running mid fives as it is we just got to get the 60 foot down but uh, I'm real pleased with the car I mean for bolt-on parts taking a Mustang from what running sevens bone stock down well down in the fives with a few bolt-on uh, power riders I mean it's I, I, I can't complain so um, but uh, anyway I think the transmission is gonna have to come back out of this car uh, anyway we got a fluid leak um, the converter seal I think is leaking post uh, track inspection I found some fluid here dripping out the bell housing and it's transmission fluid so probably the converter seal probably got a little nick in it as many times we've uh, pulled the, com the uh, converter and transmission out of the car so we're gonna pull it back out, replace that seal, fix the leak. That's gotta be done anyway, cause you can't have it leaking oil on the track. And while we got it out, we'll probably change up to a higher stall speed converter and see what that does. But uh, 
anyways, I'll attach some videos at, um, after this clip here, and you you can see how the car did at the track. And uh, anyway, just thought I'd give you a follow-up video on this car. As always, guys, thanks for following along. God bless each and every one of you, and I'll see you again soon.